This is my little battery workshop. Uh, I got solar panels for charging our electric vehicles up and for charging and batteries. And right now I'm doing a test on uh, some Tesla batteries and some Sinopolis. So this is my amp hour gauge and uh, this is called the intelligent meter. Great little meter. It uh, now I'm not measuring voltage with this. I'm just measuring amp hours. Now so far I've taken 11.3 amp hours out of the pack and I'm discharging it at 6.3 amps. And what I'm doing is I have one of these Tesla batteries. This is a, out of a a wreck Tesla. And I have our BMS that I've talked about on a few videos. This is called the Smart BMS. Uh, and I have him hooked up to control a relay. Now right here we can see uh, the Tesla pack has six cells and our BMS reads 15. So what I did is I, I got these other, these are some uh, smaller cells that I got a pack of that I use for testing and and whatnot. So I got those guys along with these to bring my voltage up to uh, you know so that they'll work. Now the six cells here are the Teslas, the first six, one through six, and the rest are my others to fill up the the space. Uh, the neat thing with this uh, setup there, and as you can see, all our Tesla batteries look pretty well balanced. Three hundredths of a volt difference between the highest and the lowest. Uh, I'm going to click on one uh, battery and we can see uh, now this guy he's a little confused because I've taken I've been you know up I've had I've had the battery unhooked and un and hooked back and that's why, as you see, we got all this stuff here. The neat thing with this is we can look at what's going on, the charging uh, and everything else. Now, he's got to catch up because I had him plugged in. This BMS was plugged into a, to another pack, which was 3.4. So he has not yet recalibrated himself to the to this pack here. Uh, we also have what they call the uh, dashboard on this and this shows what it thinks it's full and empty. Now of course on this it's thinking it's empty because I've got one of these cells that's low so it's saying that it's empty. Uh, we can also click on this and we see we got 59 volts and the Tesla pack is actually 22 and it shows our average worth anywhere from 318, which is our low cell in this pack, to uh, 412. And it does, it'll, it actually will work as a speedometer. You can use this as a speedometer too. Uh, but we're not using it that way. So back to our uh, battery. There, so that shows us our, our voltage. It also is when anybody gets low, he'll he'll cut the relay off and, and stop the discharge process. Now over here we have the Sinopoly batteries. And these guys, we're, we discharged them just a little while ago. So we're charging them back. And... Uh, this one, I I don't know what that was about. This one is, uh, I have 15 batteries, so I don't have to have any little extras in there. And uh, this is now we're hooked up to our laptop instead of hooked up to uh, our, and as we see, these guys are all over the place. We got... Uh, uh, I 
anyway, so we're charging them. I'm just going to show you a couple things on this BMS uh, because it's such a neat, neat uh, device. We come over here to settings, and this is where we will set all our parameters. I've got the uh, cutoff voltage at 3.75, and I've got the cutoff voltage at 2.7. Uh, so if anybody gets down to 2.7, it will uh, open the relay and will stop the discharge. The other thing, we've got a calibration thing here. So you can actually calibrate all these. And you, and you really need to because your wires will be different lengths. And there's a lot of things that can throw that off. So we... we uh, we take a good meter, we write our, we read our voltage, we type it into there, and after we've done everybody, we hit the calibrate and it re rearranges things to the voltage that we have it set for. There we go. And this also has the, the full, full and empty, what it kind of guesses things to be. Uh, So there, there's our. Now over here, I got my my little inverter, which I'm I I can dump a lot of electricity into this bank here, and then I pump it into the house through the inverter. So testing batteries, and uh, usually when I'm testing them, I'll have a couple that I can take the power from one and put it into another. But if I don't have enough to put it into another, I can always dump it into this bank here. 